Hello friends, today we are going to create an e-commerce website step by step using WordPress content management system. Okay, so if you are not having a core knowledge of coding and you are willing to develop a thousand dollar e-commerce website, then this video is for you. What we need to do, first of all, we have to go and buy a hosting name and register a domain name. Hosting means we are going to buy the space for our website, for our images, content, etc. And domain name is the name of our website. That is like www.google.com, ebay.com, etc. And in the third step, we will install the WordPress. Alright, so first of all, let's go ahead and register for a hosting plan. I'm just going on to the hostgator.com. Here, we'll go ahead and select a perfect hosting plan for our website. By default, Hostgator provides three different plans for our hosting. That's Hashling plan, Baby plan, and Business plan. Alright, if you are willing to have only one website and you want to host only one domain, then you should go with Hashling plan. When you are having multiple domains like mywebsite.com, myfriendswebsite.com, then you should go with baby plan as it allows to host unlimited domain names. So let's proceed. We can click on sign up now. All right. Now here we have to register our domain name. I'm just taking an example of myshopfume.com. Oops. Now let's see, all right, so this domain name is available and it has been added successfully. Now we'll move on to the next step. Here it is auto-checked add domain privacy protection. We don't need that, so just uncheck it. Now, in the second step, choose a hosting plan. Package type baby, that's okay. Billing cycle, 36 months, no. We need to go with only one month subscription. As if needed, then we can cancel it anytime. Here we can create a username like uh, sample user and here I'll create a security pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and now in the billing section you can put all your details, your email, first name, last name etc. Now on the right hand side Hostgator provides two different ways to make the payment. Either you can choose credit card or you can make the payment using PayPal. Now once you will make the payment, then at the bottom, uh, do you see here additional services? By default, all these are checked. We need to just uncheck them as we don't need these options at this point of time. Now in the fifth step, we have to just review the order details like domain name, that's okay. Baby one month, that's fine. Now here. It is giving a discount of $2.05. Well, uh, we are having another uh, coupon code that could provide around 30% of discount. That is Penny Host. You can also use this code for uh, your hosting plan. Okay, so you can see here it is giving you a discount of $13.99, around $14. So let's proceed. You need to click on I have read and agree to the terms of services etc and then check out now. Once you will check out then Hostgator will forward the control panel details onto your registered email address. I'm not going to uh, check out now because I'm already oh, have the uh, hosting name. So I'm just going to log in into my hosting control panel. It will be in this way. You will also receive your uh, hosting credentials onto your email address. All right. So this is the dashboard of our control panel. A lot of icons are here. We need to find the WordPress. Here's the WordPress. Just click on it. Now we are having the latest version of wordpress that's 4.4.2 now we are going to install the wordpress onto our domain name now here uh, there are few steps that we need to take care of choose protocol you have to leave it as it is 
choose domain name here you have to select the domain name on which you are going to install the WordPress and going to create the website so I'm just selecting shopfume.com as I have already added into my domain list the directory should be empty here you can see the site name I'm just leaving it as it is and we can uh, edit it later on in the same way site description can be edited later on here we'll create our admin username and the password these details can be used to log in into a WordPress backend that's called admin access so I'm just keeping it username same and password admin one two three all right so now third step is admin email so you can put your admin email over here and at last here you have to provide the email address on which you are willing to receive the WordPress credentials so I'm just putting admin at shopfume.com and now we are going to install it it will take a couple of seconds so don't need to worry, or worry about it alright so WordPress has been successfully installed onto a domain that's shopfume.com now this is the admin URL through which you will be able to log in into your WordPress admin panel I'm just going to click on it and let's see alright so here it is asking for the uh, WordPress admin username and the password so I'm just going to log in into my uh, into my WordPress admin uh, dashboard that's admin username and the password is admin123 alright so this is the beautiful uh, backend section of our WordPress website from where we will manage all the contents like images, uh, text, orders, everything. Alright, so we'll mark these tabs uh, which has been completed like this hosting name has been done, the domain name has been done, WordPress has been installed. Now, the second step will be we have to install a WooCommerce compatible theme so we are going to install the theme we have to just hover on appearance and then themes okay here you can see the website is installed by default with three themes 2014 2015 and 2016 we have to add new just click on this button and here I have to just uh, search out for iCraft theme that's a beautiful WooCommerce compatible free theme you can easily find this theme in the uh, WooCommerce directory or WordPress directory then install it it will take a couple of seconds alright so the iCraft theme has been successfully installed now we have to activate this theme okay so this theme has been activated here you can see active iCraft now this theme recommends two plugins breadcrumb and template next toolkit so we need to just begin installing plugins and here I'm just marking both of them and now we have to install it alright so both the uh, both the plugins has been installed now we have to activate these plugins in the same way so just activate them now there's a little difference between installation and the activation installing the theme means we are just putting a plugin onto our website but activating a plugin means we are just taking the plugin into the work so uh, both the plugins has been activated successfully now I'm going to launch the front end of our website to check how it looks like. Alright, now we can see here it looks a little bit beautiful. There's a top, uh, a top bar having contact number, email address, social links. There's a, a logo on the left hand side, one menu, a beautiful search box, a slider. Uh, there's a content area and at the bottom there's a footer section so now let's check into a notepad what are we have done so here the installation of WooCommerce compatible theme has been done 
Now, we have to install the required plugins for our website. There are four basic plugins that we have to install. Title Remover, Black Studio, Site Origin Page Builder and Site Origin Widgets Bundle. So let's proceed in installing these plugins. We just need to hover on plugins and then add new. Alright, so here we need to search for title remover. Then hit enter. And this is the title remover, just install it. Okay, now we have to activate this plugin. So title remover has been installed. Now we have to install Black Studio. So I'm going to add new. And here we can search for Black Studio and then hit enter. Black Studio is used for visual editing. This is of the visual editor widget for WordPress. So just install it. And then activate it. So Black Studio is also done. Now we are going to the site, uh, site origin page builder. So again add new. Then site origin. Hit enter. That's page builder for site origin. Just install in the same way. And now activate it. So the site origin page builder has also been done. Now the last plugin is left that's site origin widgets bundle. So let's proceed. Again site origin. And here we have to search for site origin widgets bundle. That's just install it. And now activate it. Alright, so let's check into our notepad. So site origin widgets bundle is also done. Okay, so we have successfully completed two steps. Now we are going uh, to the third step that is set up the basic website like creating pages, setting up logo, menus, footer, etc. So firstly we are going to create some pages for our website. So let's move on to the pages section and click on add new. Here we will give the name of the page that is home and this page is completely a blank page we are not putting any content over here we have to hide the title of this page hide breadcrumb again hide title using the plugin and here default template we have to select page with no sidebar and then publish it In the same way, we will create another page that is about us page. This page is also blank. We have to hide the title, hide breadcrumb and here also we can select page with no title. It's totally up to you whether you can uh, select the default template or page with no sidebar. I, I just love to create the website with full width so I'm selecting page with no sidebar and the last page that I'm going to create is contact us page that's contact us high title high breadcrumb high title page with no sidebar and publish okay now here in all pages we can check the pages that we have created for our website by default 
the WordPress create sample page now one more thing in the home page we have to just edit this page I left to select one option uh, here show default iCraft slider I have to check it and then update okay let's check back into the notepad pages has been created now we are going to setting up the logo for our website so let's proceed to set up the logo and other content we have to go on appearance and then customize it takes couple of seconds to get loaded all right so now here we can see there are a lot of options like site identity colors background image to set up the logo we have to go to basic settings and here we can change file and from the upload file sections we can select our own logo from the uh, computer I'm going to select my own logo that is freebies okay now click on choose file and save and publish let's refresh the front end alright the logo has been updated now uh, I want to update the contact number and the email address so again I'll go back to the basic settings here is the number I'm just updating one two three four five six seven eight nine oh and the email address I want to create that's email at shopfume.com save and publish again we can refresh the page all right the, so the contact number and the email address has been updated in the same way we can edit the social links uh, on the top bar I'm not going to change the social links but you can select and change it from the social link section you can put your own uh, URL like here I'm going to put Facebook dot com in the same way twitter dot com flickr dot com and remaining I'm just making them empty so they will not appear on the front page of our website all right save and publish let's check the front end once again okay you can see the remaining uh, blank social icons has been disappeared from here now our third step would be we have to uh, create some menus for our website by default if you can see there is about us contact us home and sample page I just want to uh, uh, keep the home first then about us and then contact us so what I will go and do I just need to close this customize section and go back to appearance and then menus this is the section from where you can create your own menu you can delete the menu etc so I'm just giving the name of this menu as main navigation then create menu alright now here you can see there are a lot of options home that seems to be a custom link so I just need to delete it just remove it from here this is home page about us page contact us page and sample page I want to remove this sample page also and you can uh, very easily shift them through drag and drop in this way so it's very simple very easy even for a beginner now here we have to select the theme location that's navigation menu and then save menu alright now let's refresh the page okay you can see here home about us contact us and this logout login option is only from the theme section so we can't edit this section but later on there are so many ways to edit it either we can use CSS or throw some advanced techniques so we will learn those techniques in the next tutorial alright so 
let's check back into our notepad logo has been set up we have successfully created the menus now we have to set up the footer section but here uh, I'm just going not to touch the footer section we need to just leave it as it is I'm just going to focus on the uh, product listing onto our website so I'm just uh, leaving this photo section on hold and we are moving to the fourth step that is install WooCommerce plugin and create your own products that is your first product so I'm going to install the WooCommerce plugin for our website well uh, WooCommerce is the only plugin in WordPress which makes or we can say which help us to convert our simple WordPress website into an e-commerce store so here we can type WooCommerce and hit enter and like the other plugins we can install it it take a couple of seconds so we have to wait for it okay now we have to activate WooCommerce once you once uh, the WooCommerce will be activated then it will uh, show you this window from where uh, we can just click on let's go and it will also uh, guide us to create our first product very easily just click on continue now here store locale setup here we can set up uh, we can uh, set the location of our store like I'm just leaving uh, it as United States if you are living in uh, UK then you can select UK or uh, India wherever your uh, your store is located here you can select the currency and also one more thing these options can also be selected later on so it is not compulsory to select them at this point of time we just need to click on continue here uh, will you be shipping products yes I'm shipping the products and will you be charging sales tax I'm just leaving this option as it is and let's click on continue here it is giving the payments option at present I will just enable cash on delivery and then continue and the last step it shows create your first product just click on it now here it will guide you how to create your own product it shows some hints but I'm going to dismiss it okay here we can uh, give the name of the product I'm just giving it as first product then in this section here we can uh, put the long description of our website I'm just putting here long description section alright now here uh, we can just put the SKU ID well it is not compulsory but if you want to put your SKU ID then you can put here in this way SKU 001 or 02 whatever uh, you want to name it and uh, in the next section you can see regular price that would be the price of your product I'm just putting $70 for my uh, product now there's a next section is product short description so I'm just putting short description here all right now we are going to just uh, set the product image again I'm going to upload the product image I will go back to my folder suppose that I'm taking this product then click on set product image alright now we are moving upward and here we can create the product category under which we want to show this product so I'm just putting the name of the category like 
fragrance and then add new product category and publish all right so now let's check our product I'm just clicking right click and open link in new tab let's see our product perfect here we can see there's a product image the price of the product short description section the add to cart button and at the bottom long description section but if we will go back on to our home page I'm just clicking on the logo we can see it is still the slider and the demo content but we are not getting our product on the home page so first of all what we have to do we have to make uh, the home as the front page at present there's a default home page now I'm going back to the settings and then reading now here we need to click on a static page radio button and front page just click on home and save changes now let's refresh the front page alright now you can see here the header section is same logo menu slider everything but there is no demo content because we have uh, placed the home page as the front page so whenever you will click on the logo the home page will be the first page of our website now I want to just put my product over here in this location so what I what I uh, I'll need to do I'll go back onto the pages then home and here we will use a short code in order to display our product so there's a short code you need to keep remember I just want to uh, display a recent product onto the home page so what I will do I'll just copy this short code and paste into the text section always remember this should be the text section now click on update all right now let's refresh the page once again okay now you can see here everything is same and the product is listed on the home page so whenever any customer wants to check the details he can click on this product and then he will go back onto the single product page description so in this way now again if we want to create a new product then there's a section products click on add product again here we'll put the name of the product that is called second product the long description the SKU ID the regular price like $40 the short description we can set the product image then click on set product image it is here here uh, we just need to select either this uh, already created category or we can create a new category as this product is uh, the image is of a fragrance so I'm just selecting the same category name and then publish now let's refresh the page once again or let's click on the logo to go back onto the front page of the website okay now you can see here both the products are visible so in this way we can list our products on the uh, desired either home page or on the about us page or whatever the page you want to uh, put the products you can easily uh, display your products using the short codes so the short codes are mentioned in this way if you want to list the featured products then you can use this short code and if you want to show the products by a specific category then you can use this short code and let me explain you how you can create a featured product 
it's quite very simple just go back to the products uh, the products list alright so these are the two products that we have recently created if you want to create the second one as a featured product so just click on this star and it will convert it to the dark star you can see here so now this product is has been marked also as a featured product again if we want to show this product as a featured one onto the home page then what we will do I'm going back to the home page and just below this short code I will just hit enter and let's copy and paste this one featured products here we can post and then update it and let's refresh the website once again okay now here you can see below is my featured product so this is the featured product and these are the recent products as this product is listed in two categories in the recent one as well as as a featured one so it is showing over here so it's quite very simple to create a WooCommerce website uh, very easily using the WordPress okay so now let's back let's check back into a notepad we have installed the WooCommerce plugin we have created the product and we have used all these plugins sorry all the short codes now we are going to create the further section of our website that was on hold so let's remove it from hold and here at present if you can see in the footer section there's a search box then recent post then recent comments archives categories meta etc so I'm going to remove all these things and going to create something different so where we'll find this photo section go to appearance and then widgets well uh, different themes have different options the iCraft theme have the option in uh, uh, the options of the footer as main widget area so here you can see all these widgets search recent post recent comments I'm just going to remove them one by one and I'll put my own widgets over here all right so now let's refresh the front page once again okay so now you can see there's no footer section now I'm going to create my own so at present I'm just taking the example of custom menu so we need to just click on it selected main widget area you can toggle like this one and then add widget it will automatically appear here here I'm going to create a footer menu so just uh, name it as site links and then save it and then toggle it now uh, the second option that I want to put in the footer is a Google map so I'm just finding out site origin Google map widget click on it main widget area and then add widget it is opened over here now in this section I have to put the address I'm just putting London United Kingdom here we can set the height of the uh, Google map I'm just putting 220 just all will be the same and then click on save and then close so it is closed now let's refresh the front page okay so now here you can see site links and Google map is over here now in this section I want to just put a text section uh, of having the contact details so I'm going to just uh, find out where is the text widget Oh, here it is we can just click on text and then add widget here we'll give a title contact us in this section I'll provide the address like XYZ London postcode phone number
email and then I'll save it let's close and refresh the front page okay here we can see that now one more section has been left so I'm just uh, check what widget we can put there uh, let's try to put a calendar over there title uh, let's leave it as it is just click on save and let's refresh the front page okay so calendar is also over here showing the current date so in this way uh, we can easily create a wordpress website and convert it into an e-commerce store using woocommerce plugin now one more thing i want to do at the top navigation bar i want to put a shop menu over here so i'll go back onto the appearance and then menu section and here i want to add a shop menu also so on the left hand side you can see pages then shop click on shop then add menu and here i will drag and drop it just next to the about us then save menu and refresh the home page so here at the top home about us shop and contact us by default when we install the woocommerce plugin then it automatically creates four pages that we have to take care of cart checkout my account and the shop page so please never delete all these four pages any one of these four pages because these are the core pages of woocommerce plugin on the shop page it displays all the products which are available onto our website as we can see here two products are available so they all are showing on the shop page now let's come back onto the home page I'm not I'm not touching the uh, slider section but if you want to edit these sliders these text button etc so you can go back onto the appearance and then customize all right now here uh, you can see there is a slider section in the slider there's a slide settings you can select the number of slides that you want by using this scroll button then go back and in this slide one you can select the uh, you can set up the title the no more but uh, the button text the link from where this uh, when we click on this button then uh, it should uh, open which page and the main image of the slider so in this way you can edit all these uh, four sliders because this iCraft theme is providing four slider uh, four slide images over here so in this way you can manage all those things I'm not changing anything in the slider section so I hope uh, it, it will be quite easy for you to develop an e-commerce store and uh, for more tutorials please subscribe to our YouTube channel thank you very much